Hi, my name is Cynthia Mock, and I'm with Rosie Shack, uh, presenting the maintenance phase of the systems development lifecycle. Um, this presentation is made with Prezi AI and me. I'm the creator, and Prezi is an AI that I use to facilitate um, the content. Uh, we're with Rosie Shack, and you can check out our blog. And I also want you to check out Prezi. I now have a referral link, so you can do this too. So we'll get to that at the end. The maintenance phase of the system development life cycle. Exploring critical aspects and activities involved in the maintenance phase of the SDLC to ensure ongoing system performance and relevance. The maintenance phase is really important. The maintenance phase can retain users and bolster revenue with things like upgrades and um, user satisfaction proof and like anticipating errors and being able to make a new system upgrade usable on your system. So the maintenance phase is really important. If you don't do it, you can lose revenue because they'll stop using your product. It'll act broken or it won't be working right. So let's go ahead and look at this. Understanding the systems development life cycle. The systems development life cycle is an essential framework for developing information systems. It encompasses a series of structured phases, including planning, analysis, design, implementation, and maintenance, ensuring that, a systematic, that there is a systematic approach to system development. Each phase plays a crucial role in achieving effective and efficient system deployment and ultimately supporting long-term operational success. Okay, the overview of the maintenance phase. It ensures system functionality, making sure that your system still works, ongoing support monitoring, so you help people use it, and you also check to make sure it's working correctly, and it sends out regular updates and enhancements. Let's learn more about these. The maintenance phase ensures that the system remains functional and effective after an initial deployment, addressing any defects or issues that may arise during its operational life. This phase is crucial for the sustaining system performance and user satisfaction. Ongoing support and monitoring. Ongoing support includes monitoring system performance, resolving user supported issues, and making necessary updates to keep the system aligned with user needs and technology advancements. Regular checks are essential for preventing obsolescence. Regular updates and enhancements. Updates during the maintenance phase may include software patches, security enhancements, and new features that improve usability and functionality. These updates are vital for adapting to changing requirements and technologies. So there are benefits and consequences in maintenance. Benefits to doing it and consequences if you neglect it. Things might break. You might lose revenue. There's a lot of things. Let's go into this. Maintenance is crucial for ensuring that information systems remain functional and relevant over time. It encompasses activities that correct defects, enhance system performance, and modify features to meet changing user requirements. This is a continuous process. This continuous process is necessary to avoid obsolescence and ensure that the system in, continues to support business goals effectively. Consequences of neglected maintenance. On the other hand, neglecting maintenance can lead to serious consequences such as system failures, increased costs, and a decline in user satisfaction. Systems that are not regularly maintained may experience performance degradation and can eventually fail to fulfill needs they were designed for, resulting in a loss of productivity and revenue for organizations. Key activities in the maintenance phase. We have monitoring systems performance, so you might have a QA back, or you might have some stats back from your program. Fixing bugs, if they encounter bugs during the maintenance phase because you can't control everything. Because uh, you can't control everything, you'll get reports that bugs come back and you'll have to fix them. Implementing updates, you might update to go with a new system chip or whatever. Providing a user and providing user support, being able to help users. Let's read these. Monitor system performance helps identify issues early, ensuring optimal operation and user satisfaction. Fixing bugs is crucial for maintaining system integrity and user trust as it addresses errors that hinder functionality. Implementing updates. Implementing updates keeps, systems, keeps the system secure and compatible with new technologies enhancing overall functionality. Providing user support. 
Providing user support fosters engagement and addresses user concerns, ensuring a smooth experience for the system. Okay, types of maintenance in the SDLC. We have corrective maintenance where you would correct something. We have adaptive maintenance where you adapt to a change. We have perfective maintenance where you perfect something. And we have preventative maintenance where you're maybe preventing a problem. Let's dive in. Corrective maintenance involves identifying and fixing defects in the system after it has been deployed. This is the essential for this is essential for restoring a system functionality, restoring system functionalities, and ensuring that users can continue their work without interruptions. Adaptive maintenance is a process of modifying the system to accommodate changes in the environment or user requirements. This ensures that the system remains relevant and effective over time as external factors evolve. Perfective maintenance focuses on enhancing the performance of the system by optimizing functionalities. This involves making improvements that benefit users, such as increasing efficiency or adding new features. Preventative maintenance aims to foresee and prevent potential issues before they escalate into problems. Regular system checks and updates are part of this strategy, helping to maintain the system integrity and performance. Here are some challenges. I talked to, uh, in the doobly-doo I mentioned we go over pitfalls. Here are some of the pitfalls. Um, the maintenance phase encounters significant hurdles that can hinder effective systems performance. Resource constraints limit the capacity to address issues promptly, while the rapid evolution of the technology demands continuous adaptation. Additionally, the ongoing need for user support can strain resources and complicate the maintenance process. Make sure in the budget you're leaving money to do maintenance. Make sure you leave enough to do maintenance. Best practices for effective maintenance. Implementing structured strategies to enhance system longevity and performance includes ongoing processes, monthly processes, and quarterly processes. Conduct regular system audits to assess performance and identify potential users proactively on an ongoing basis. Monthly collect user feedback to inform updates and improvements based on the actual user experience and needs. Quarterly implement structured maintenance, uh, structured maintenance plan that outlines responsibilities, processes, and timelines for maintenance activities. Here's some case study examples. In the retail industry, a large retail company implemented regular system audits and user feedback mechanisms, leading to a 30% increase in the system efficiency and significant improvements in customer satisfaction. The financial sector adaptation, the financial sector, the financial sector adaptation, a financial institution adopted adaptive maintenance strategies to keep up with regular changes, which resulted in a decreased compliance risk and improved trust with clients. Oh, okay. Tech startup innovation. A tech startup utilized preventative maintenance practices, allowing them to identify and fix potential issues before they affect users, thus maintaining high user retention rates. I have to say, if you don't do your maintenance phase and just roll out the program and ignore it, when it comes into problems and stuff, people de-admit, they don't buy the upgrades, they don't use your software. And it actually, if you don't do it, and do some preventative, you end up losing revenue and not being able to continue your process of your process of the SDLC again to make the new one. So it's very important you leave some budget for maintenance and that you follow through substantially. Okay, the crucial role of maintenance in the SDLC. The maintenance phase is essential for ensuring longevity and relevance in information systems. It not only addresses the immediate issues, but also adapts to evolving user needs and technological advancements. Further directions in maintenance may focus on the integration of innovative tools and practices to enhance efficiency and the responsiveness in system support. Okay. So that was our presentation for today. I've got a new link for you on this presentation. It got shipped to a credit system on Prezi. So if you wanna use Prezi, you wanna make your own YouTube. I'm also using Snagit to grab the, the video of the screen and everything, and I'm operating it myself. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, but if you wanna use our presentation tool, 
I've made a tiny URL where you can just put in tiny URL Rosie Prezi and it'll give you a referral link where you can sign up and it sends us a small credit you don't have to pay for. If you would like to support our show, you can go to Tip Top Jar Silver Ice and leave a tip. And you could also see this whole completed database playlist at the tiny URL database egg. Um, thank you very much. This was Rosie Shack and Cynthia Mock and Prezi AI. Have a great day.